Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving graphs. This is standard 7.6G in the great state of Texas. and We are using item number 11 off the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a survey conducted of the different types of occupations of 1,200 or 1,200 residents. And so we've got all these different percentages here. Industry, retail, education, other, and government. Uh, government looks like the smallest slice. So based on the circle graph, how many more residents? So look at that. How many more? So even before we figure out what we need to do, we're going to need to subtract because we're comparing. Have an occupation in industry, then government. Okay, so we need to compare industry and government. And you notice that they don't give us a percent for government. They do give us a percent for industry, but our answers are not even in percents. We've got to turn these into numbers. We've got to do quite a bit of work here. So this whole circle graph here equals 100%. So first off, let's figure out what this missing percent is for government. We're not going to just eyeball it. We're going to just add up all the other percents, all right? So my retail and industry, 25 and 25. Education's 15. Other is 30, all right? So that plus my missing government is going to be 100%. So let's see how far away I am. That's 15. So that's 5, 6, 95. Wow. So that is just a little bit of a percent. This is just 5%. All right. So if I really wanted, so government is 5%, right? So if I was doing this incorrectly, right, I would say, well, industry is 25%. And government is 5%. And if I wanted to, I could say, well, that's 20%. And look at this, 20 is an answer. It's incorrect, though, because my answer is not percentages. It's in real people. We could use that 20%. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. What we need to do is we need to see how many people are actually there. 25% of what? What's well, 25% of 1,200? And it's 5% of 1,200. So let, how do we find what that actually equals? Well, we take our 25% and we move it the decimal over twice to get a decimal. Because we can multiply with decimals, not percents. So that 25% equals 0.25. So what if I were to do 1,200 times 0.25? All right, so 0, 0, 10. 6, and that's going to be 0, 0, 24. All right, so I've got 30, two digits behind the decimal, so 300. All right, so 25% or one quarter of 1,200 equals 300, which makes sense because there's four quarters in a dollar. If you add up 300 four times, you're going to get 1,200. Now I need to do the same thing with this. 1,200 times 5%. It's going to be much smaller. 0 0.05. Because uh, that 5%, right, is going to move the decimal over once, twice. So I need that 0 right there. So 0, 0, 10, 6. I'm not going to bother doing that second row because it's just going to be a whole bunch of zeros. Uh, so that is going to get me two digits behind the decimal, so that's 60. So now I can subtract these two, and that's going to get me 240. So that's what I'm looking for, 240. Or if you wanted to do the 1,200 times 0.20, because that's the difference in the percentages, and 0.20 equals 20%, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get straight to that answer. That's 0, 0, 24. You could also have done it that way, and you straight get that answer of 240. So your answer here is... See.